Hey guys, you guys know that it's kind of frustrating having to open up your pack and wand whenever there's a new update to the firmware or the sound card effects. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that a lot easier without having to open some things up. For the pack itself, I have a 100% working solution, but unfortunately for the wand, I have maybe a 50%. I think I can get the update to the firmware easier. But the sound card, I'm having a little difficulty with it. And I'm going to show you that in later on in the video. Starting with the pack, what you're going to need is some breadboard jumper cables. We're, you're going to need to go online and find some that are about 20 centimeters long. I'll put a link in the description for where you can find it. But these are easy, pretty easy to find. It's going to look something like this. It'll probably be wider. I've already written, ripped some off on mine. But what you need to do is rip off six wires and the only color that matters is the black wire and you're going to need that on one of the ends here. So looking at mine, I have six wires here and black is on the outside and that's all you need. Next, with the pins that you have ripped off, you're going to take some tape and tape them up like this. So it's nice and flat and feels like one solid piece. And then you're going to want to do that to the other end as well. Next, get a 50 centimeter micro SD card extension cable. Okay, moving on to the pack. Remove the motherboard. And with the programming cable, you're going to need to access those pins right in there. So it's kind of hard to see, but the leftmost pin is the ground pin. And you're going to connect the black wire to that. So it'll go like this. Then flip your pack to the side, open up the power cell door, and your program cable will fit right through the rectangular slot. But for now, we're just gonna leave this out and we're gonna deal with the SD card extender first. Now, depending when you purchase the GP Star Kit, you might have gotten one of the first versions of the power cell panel, and you'll notice that this won't fit very well. And that's because um, I came up with this, I, this idea after we've already produced the kit and sold it. So um, that's why that doesn't fit, but we've updated these. So some of you might have one where the rectangle will be wider and the ship will fit in just fine. But if you have one of the early versions, all you gotta do is kind of go in at an angle like this. And that, whoops, and that should fit right through just fine. And then flipping the pack back over, take out your sound card, remove the uh, SD card, and just slot that into the extender. And of course, your other end just plugs into where the SD card holder goes. Done. And that just lost right back in there. And for the programming cable, that slides right through there. One important thing to be careful of, these pins are live. Because this is forever connected to the board, when you turn the board on, these connections can draw some current through it if it's touching something else. And you don't want to touch something that can cause your board to short circuit. So it's not an elegant solution, but what I've been doing so far, I've just been tucking away between these two cables like this. And that seems to be working for me so far. Another solution is to take six of the female ends here, tape them up like you did with the programming cable, and you just snip the cables off. And then you have a little protective cover for the pins, just like that. And for the micro SD card extender, if you put a little piece of Velcro here, you can like stick it there like that. Now, the thing I say for last is the cable management here. As you can see, it's getting really, really crowded. Uh, I haven't even installed smoke kit yet, so I'm not even have, I haven't even maximized all the potential wires that will be going through this area. So I do suggest that you just go ahead and modify this. Either Take some snippers and cut a bigger hole here. You can drill some holes here and feed from some cables through. It's up to you. But at the end of the day, 
we're gonna you're gonna probably want to put more space in this area and just save yourself a lot of headache because this little notch here it's not enough it's not enough to feed everything through another thing to recommend if you're still using the stock Haslab motherboard is to cut this baby out you guys don't need it okay I know you sound you don't want to do any modifications you don't have to and this is a big chunk that you don't want to cut off just in case you revert back but let's let's be honest you're not going back you've done enough modifications pack that it's you've moved on you've graduated from baby has lab and you have moved on to something greater so cut this guy out it just it'll just make your life a lot easier because you know a lot of cables are running through here and in trying to accommodate these cables just for this piece of plastic here that you never use it's just it's just a waste of space and just making your life a lot more difficult so just i do suggest that i mean if you're gonna do a smoke kit this is the perfect spot to put the refillable bottle and then you can always access that bottle via this door so you still don't have to open up your pack every time you need to refill the bottle or do any modifications to your smoke kit right in here so it's perfect so that was it for the pack and i think that's a really great easy solution that anyone should do unfortunately for the wand is a completely different story like i said earlier unfortunately i couldn't find a way to make it work well for both the program cable and the sd card if you join our facebook group other people have shared their own ideas and ways of how they can easily access these but for me what i wanted to do was find an easy way that doesn't have require too much modifications to the outside of the wand and the method that i came up with requires you to still remove the gun track and that will reveal the programming cable here that was hidden underneath now it, when it comes to making a hole it's really up to you how big what shape you want it um, the only thing you need to worry about is to make sure that the gun track covers everything. So you can see there, the gun track is almost right at the two fake screws here. So that should give you plenty of space. So maybe first you want to mark it. I'm just going to eyeball it. So it's about there. And around there. I'm just going to drill holes and then use um, my snipper. Make it a little easier for myself and drill more holes. That's a big enough hole. As you can see, that's a work of art. Look how great that looks, how professionally made that hole is. Next, I'm just gonna take a file and clean this up. Okay, and that's it. Now, how this is installed is, it would be helpful to remove the wave trigger And then you just want to lift up your cage a little bit. And you see with the small wording, um, if you're looking at it from this orientation, the ground pin is on the right side. So you want to make sure that lines up the black pin here. Yeah, just like that. Double check the black pin is on the right side. Yes, it is. And then that's it. Then you just close everything back up. And how this works is that if you see on the gun track, 
it has um, a bit of depressed state uh, space in here and that's perfect for the programming cable to hide underneath while still maintaining the exact same look from the outside so you can see from the side it still, it still sits nice and flush as it did before now the problem is in theory i thought that uh, using an sd card extension in the same way would work however i wasn't able to get it to work a hundred percent for whatever reason when i push down on the body with on the wave trigger it must have it, it does something to the sd card extension cable here it's really sensitive i don't know and it causes the sound to cut out same thing with the gun track when i had it hidden underneath with the gun track on top applying pressure the sound would eventually distort and then stop working I got it working a couple of times, but not enough for this to be a reliable solution to go forward with. So that's it for the wand. If anyone has any ideas that can build off my idea or some or have their own, go ahead and join our Facebook group and please share it, post in the comments and let us know if you have a better solution. And that's it. Thanks for watching.